if, this, if you see a couple dressed as tourists standing motionless in an art museum for a long time, you will look at them again. And you will be surprised to know that it is a work of art. In this way, the school that, the school that reproduces an entity in reality in a way that can be believed to be real is called hyperrealism. If we choose something that we commonly see around us, such as tourists, it is said to have a high realism. <clears throat> and if we rely on visual representation and express the object in the same way as reality, is it is said to have a high facticity. Hyperrealism, which pursues the which pursues both the reality of the object and the facticity of expression clearly shows its characteristics when compared to pop art, which falls under the same real realism trend. <clears throat> These are schools of thought that developed in the United States in the 1960s and are still popular today, and, in, and have in common that they target the daily life of the capitalist society at the time. Pop art transformed the object implicitly, but hyperbolism attempted to accurately reproduce the object. Therefore, pop art mainly pursues the <coughs> reality of the object, but <coughs> hyperrealism hyper pursues not only the reality of the object, but also the realism of expression. Following the, tramp, uh, the trend of Trampoloi, mm, that means production so precise that viewers can mistake it as real. <coughs> Pop art mainly, uh, mainly focuses on print media that can easily communicate with the public rather than an accurate representation of the object, like the picture. <clears throat> On the other hand, hyperrealism pursues methods of accurately reproducing objects by actively using new materials or mechanical methods, like this picture. It likes picture, yeah, just like ha camera, yeah. Let's see this picture. Uh, there was a representative artist of hyperrealism, hyperrealism who realistically expressed the capitalist daily life who named Hansen. His work, a woman pushing a shopping cart, can be interpreted as a critical expression of modern people at the time who are buried in a mat <coughs> material well-being. The object of this work is a shopping cart for, full of, <coughs> full of uh, products and a woman. She is the subject of desire and symbolizes greed, of, greed for materials. And the shopping cart full of products is the object of desire and symbolizes materials. Therefore, the composition of a woman pushing a shopping cart that is almost overflowing with products shows the tendency to overconsume amidst material well-being. Looking at the technique of this work, the work was produced without an exhibition, exhibition pedestal so that it was natural even, the, uh, even, even when displayed in a living space. Instead of looking at person and making a shape with clay, plaster was applied directly to the person. Like this plaster heart, yeah. <clears throat> uh, instead of looking at per, uh, uh, the shape and size of a person were reproduced equally by using a real mold technique in which plaster was applied directly to the person to form the shape. In addition, synthetic resin, polyester, glass fiber, ATC, were used instead of bronze metal, which is the material of the existing three-dimensional work. And the texture, color, and of human skin were reproduced equally by coloring with airbrush. <clears throat> Objects and necklaces and uh, costumes were added to this, and shopping cart groceries were used as they were to enhance the realism. The biggest purpose of realism art is to capture reality and convey it effectively. There are various if expression methods to convey the reality 
uh, captured by the artist. Artists of realism, such as hyperrealism and pop art, communicate with the viewer by conveying reality in their own way, such as by reproducing objects as they are or implicitly transforming them. Feel the essence of realism while looking at the, at the artworks and if you were drinking a cup of espresso. Thank you.